in this lecture we will be seeing the application of superconductors and also some numericals this is unit 5 lecture 10 one application over here is low loss transmission lines and transformers since the resistance is almost zero at superconducting phase the power loss during transmission is negligible hence electric cables are designed with superconducting wires if superconductors are used for winding of a transformer the power losses will be very small magnetic levitation diamagnetic property of a superconductor is the basis of magnetic levitation a superconducting material can be suspended in air against a repulsive force from a permanent magnet this principle can be used for high speed transportation then you have generation of high magnetic fields superconducting materials are used for producing very high magnetic fields of the order of 50 tesla to generate such a high field the power consumed is only 10 kilowatt whereas in conventional methods the power consumed is about 3 megawatt Next, we can see about fast electrical switching, also known as cyclotron. The application of a magnetic field greater than its critical field, magnetic field changes the superconducting state of a superconducting material to normal state. And removal of the field brings the material back from normal state to superconducting state. This fact is used in developing cyclotron switches. After seeing the application, we can see some numericals based upon dielectric materials. Here the problem is calculate the electronic polarizability of argon atom given epsilon r is 1.0024 at NTP and n number of atoms is 2.7 into 10 to the power of 25 atoms per meter cube. So this is the data given and we know epsilon naught is 8.85 into 10 to the power of minus 12 farad per meter. The formula that we can use is epsilon r is equal to 1 plus n alpha e by epsilon naught. Or alpha e is equal to epsilon naught into epsilon r minus 1 by n. When you substitute, you get alpha e is equal to 7.9 into 10 to the power of minus 40 farad per meter square. Next problem, the number of atoms in hydrogen gas is 9.8 into 10 to the power of 20 atoms per cc. The radius of hydrogen atom is 0 0.053 nanometer. Calculate its electronic polarizability and relative permittivity. The given data is here and we know the formula is alpha e is 4 pi epsilon naught r cube when you substitute you get alpha e is 1.657 into 10 to the power of minus 41 farad per farad meter square and also epsilon r relative permittivity is 1 plus 4 pi n r cube substituting epsilon r is equal to 1.0018 next problem is on magnetic material the magnetic field intensity in a piece of ferric oxide is 10 to the power of 6 ampere per meter. If the susceptibility of the material is 1.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3, calculate the magnetization of the material and flux density. So given information is over here. From this relation, chi is equal to I by H, we get I. Magnetization of the material is equal to susceptibility into H, which is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power of 6 ampere per meter. And also the flux density B is equal to mu naught into I plus H, where mu naught is 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7. On substituting, we will get B is equal to 1.257 Tesla. So in this lecture, we have seen what are the applications of superconductors and some numericals based upon unit number 5.